Oh yeah. All I do is strike motherfuckers out in this game. I'm the best pitcher that there ever was. Straight up. Ain't no one. Ain't no one pitching better than Outlaw. No one. Mm -mm. No. No. -uh. Nope. No one's allowed to get a home run off me either. Nope. No home runs off your boy Outlaw. That's not allowed in this baseball game. You can't hit home runs off me because I'm just the best there ever was. I piss excellence in the morning. That's right. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. There's a swing and a drive hit nope, well out to right field. See you later. Huh. Over the wall, a home run. What is good, Outlaws? Welcome back to Outlaw 0311 Gamer here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit my channel, to hang out and watch, to hang out and enjoy. I appreciate it very much. Today, I have some MLB Show the 20 live event. I call it live event, uh, but we got some event gameplay. So keep in mind, this is when the game first came out. So this is uh, my live stream from when the game first came out. Uh, I did a bunch of stuff off screen. Uh, that way I can just focus on live events, battle royale, and rank season during my live stream. So when you come to the live stream, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get events, battle royale, or rank season. Um, I try to do all the other stuff off, um, off camera. I do the grind off camera so that way you don't have to watch it. I do have a conquest playlist out so if you're interested or need help on, on how to conquer conquest, I do have a video series for that. So, you know, let me know in the comments. If not, I'll, re I'll try to remember to put a timestamp in the video, to, uh, you know, so you can click on that conquest playlist. Um, yeah, so this is our first time playing the game, like a full game against someone, against the real person. Uh, this is their their event that they had going on when the first when the game first came out. Uh, I didn't know they were gonna have an event, uh, and they did. So me being a fan and being a beginner of Diamond Dynasty, this is my second year doing Diamond Dynasty. I really enjoy the events. I think event gameplay is where it's at, especially if you're new to the game in Diamond Dynasty, like myself. Um, you don't have to play, you don't have to spend any subs. It's a good, it is a good opportunity for y'all beginners and, and players like myself, or this is their second year in the game, of putting all the pieces together putting all the glue where it fits you know what i mean like fuck around with your your with your lineup fuck around with your pitching rotation that's what events are for it doesn't cost you any stubs you don't have to worry about any stubs so you get to save money and you use the cards that are in your roster so to me, I just, that's why I love the events so much. And they change throughout the year. So, I mean, sometimes you might not use the cards that we're using here in this matchup, for instance, but either way, that's why I like uh, the events. So this is an event playlist along with Battle Royale. So if you're a fan of the event gameplay and or Battle Royale, you know, check out the playlist. This is what this is mainly focused about because there are three inning games. I can fit in two games in roughly 30 to 40 minutes. I'm trying to keep the videos under 30 minutes, but that might be hard. Eventually, I might just go into like maybe highlights uh, that or when I do an entry, one entry will be like its own little video series, depending on how long I run. Never I run a long time. Finger, motherfucker. Get that shit out of here. Later days, Fato. Hell yeah. The Allah's taking an early 
2-0 lead here on the top of the first with a two-out home run. Things are looking good for our first event gameplay here and uh, in um, MLB Show the 20. So, hell yeah, that was a beautiful home run. All right, we're looking pretty good here with the 2-0 lead. So here is my thought process and what I'm hoping to bring to the channel as far as MLB Show 20 goes and as far as Battle Royale, live events, and ranked season gameplay. And anytime I actually show game footage, I dub my recordings. Not dub, maybe that's not the right word, but... I, I do all my edits and then I do a voiceover. There we go. So I voice over all my recordings for YouTube. Uh, my thought process behind that is that you and I can go through the plays kind of together. So if I see it, if I see an instance where, you know, in game time I felt like I was unjustified, but we look back at the game film and we see that we're not justified, that's going to help down the road with our mental part of the game. But that makes sense. So bear with me here. I'm doing my... It's like we're back in the game room. I don't know if any of y'all play. I'm sure a lot of y'all played football, sports, and high, in, in high school and stuff. And football... More so than any other sport, I remember we looked back on film. So every Saturday after a football game, every Saturday morning, we would look at film. We would get our asses chewed out, rimmed out, especially if we won. If we won, oh man, that was brutal. I hated game films the days after we won because they just tore into our ass. On days we lost, on game, on film days, on uh, from a loss, I were. You know that Saturday after a loss, it was a different story, right? There are a little, Shit, there are a lot more lenient on us. So uh, that's kind of where I'm going with these video series here of mine, just to help, you know, to walk through, to do a walkthrough, and you know, if we see any parts where we mess up as a player, you know, we're gonna correct ourselves on it, and maybe you can learn from it too. So at the end of the day, it is a how-to video in a sense. And basically how to not make the mistakes I make and maybe that makes you a little bit better at the game. Right? Maybe there's something that I know about the game that you don't know that makes you a better player. So this is what the series is here for. And also to have fun with it. And plus it's against another player. So we definitely gotta show you gotta show you this. I gotta show you this on YouTube. So F U E few, I'm gonna call them few. They come back with the 1 0 lead. Runners on the corner with two outs left here on the bottom, I mean, with two outs on the bottom of the first. And they tied it up off that single. That is the catcher. Got to go to the bullpen, start warming up. All right, here we go. Still bottom of the first, uh, 2 2 lead. I mean, uh, the ball game's tied 2-2. Two, two. He's got two runners on uh, with two outs. And um, Smoltz and I in some trouble. He's at 17 pitches. He gets one in there. Two and one's the count. Get him swinging there to even up the count. Two and two. And we're going to have a nice little grounder. We should throw him out there at first, and we do. Uh, but we give up our lead. And uh, we're back even in the count, two and two. So uh, let's see how we do from here. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. And a nice pitch in there for a strike. Oh, and one top of the second here in this live event play. I call it live event, so excuse me if I'm wrong, but in event gameplay. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two and one, so we take the early lead in the count. Really nice lead for us here at three and one. We got you, Darvish, at 32 pitches here on the top of the second, but we are going to fly out to the first baseman. Tucker Barnhart. Um, up to bat in the eighth spot, and he's going to get even in the count here at one and one. One out. Top of the second. And here's a fast We're going to get ahead in the count here. Two and one. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands. Oh. Ooh, nasty pitch. Gets a swing to even up the count at two and two. Full count now, three and He's going to get that one out. So that's going to make it a full count here. Pitch count up. Here's another productive oh. Oh. It looked like we thought it was going to be low. It just gets in. For a K, and he gets us looking. Nasty, nasty. Good pitch. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. John Smoltz is in with two away as he takes a ball. That was a nice strikeout. Wow, that's good pay, bro. for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the Well, right, nothing do is, uh, uh, nothing yeah, doing yeah, for us yeah, there, yeah, there yeah, on the, yeah, <laughs> my bad, y'all, on the top half of the, <laughs> I'm fucking this up, on the top half, <laughs> hey, I fucked it up again, the top of the second, I am going to leave that voice recording in because, you know what, uh, it's nice to have a little goof. Nice defensive play there by our boy. Uh, Shit, I don't even know who that was. I don't think that's Javi. But either way, defense comes in big there. Nice fucking play by the shortstop. So here we are, bottom of the second. Game's tied 2-2. Two -two. We got Rizzo down. He's up in the count 1-0. We get him back even 1-1. One one. So a missed opportunity there. A ball and two strikes to Anthony. Nice pitch. We get that. We dot that corner, bottom corner there. We get ahead in the count. One, two. Uh, Smoltz at 24 pitches here in the bottom of the second. We're going to miss that pitch badly. And it looks like we might pay for it. We don't. Luckily, our left fielder is there to make the catch. Two outs here, bottom of the second. And we're looking at their number one hitter, their leadoff hitter, Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. <laughs> we get lucky and we get him to bounce out. I mean, bounce out, ground out. And uh, here we go, top of the third. What can we do here? All right, let's do something here. Yeah. So digging in now, too. Andrew McCutcheon. He'll stand in to open. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you nice just have pitch. to tip your cap and look for the next one. Oh, right back to him on nice the mound. Nice deep. Fielded cleanly. Can't do much and there. Take it to the bag himself for the out. Settling in now. Ken Griffin Jr. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. I'll take that though. Gets down and he's got himself a base hit. All right, nice one out single there from the kid on our team. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. with a nice little single there. Got Austin Maddows here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get a little rally going. One out here on the top of the third. This is our last inning if we cannot score a run. That where we go into extra inning, so it's a crucial inning. We do get the K there, so uh, we're down to our final out. 
And we're going to ground out to first. <laughs> oh, and he makes a fielding error. We're going to be, uh, we're going to get on safe there. Can we use this momentum? Can we get something going here? So we're down over one, top of the third, two men out, two outs. Game is tied in our last inning, our possible last inning. One and two. One and two. Here it is. Line hard to the left side. <laughs> Just foul. Just foul. We scored up, but we were very early on it. And that's a good. Is that gonna go? No, it is not. That is gonna be the final out of the third inning. So we need three outs to push this into extras. Let's see what happens here. We still got Smoltz up. It looks like we're going to make a change. We're going to go ahead and put Ferguson in. He's got a four-seam curveball and change-up. So let's see what kind of damage we can get going here. We got to set him down here to push it into extra innings. Any run that they score, that is ball game. So let's try to prevent that. And we do fall behind in the count 1 0. And he just misses inside with Make that 2 0. Not looking good right now. Not the way you want to start off. You need to get a strike here. And we do with the changeup to make it a 2 1 count. Looks like we're trying to go low and away. And we don't. We miss our pitch. He's going to knock it out. Knock it up the middle. Our shortstop's going to miss that dive in play. And now uh, he's got one man on with a single. No routes. Bottom of the third. Home half of the third. We got David Ortiz. The always dangerous David Ortiz. Whether he plays like that in the game, I don't know. I don't have his card. I went the pitching route. As much as I'm a Red Sox fan, I went the pitching route. I should have. I will get his card, though. Don't get me wrong. Um... One of my favorite players of all time, next to Manny Ramirez and Ken Griffey Jr. And that's just on the batter side. Pitcher side, man, got to go with the Rocket, Roger Clemens, Josh Beckett, man, one of my favorites. Jake Arrieta won us the World Series. John Lester, of course, brought a lot of World Series to the Red Sox and Cubs. So much love to John Lester. Still, He's probably my favorite pitcher of all time, actually, to be honest with you. So they're going to get the walk off and win it here in the bottom half of the home half of the third. J.D. JD Martinez coming up big. It looked like that ball slowed down. Look at that. See what I mean? Like it just slowed down. Did you see that? It just slowed down for him. Purposely slowed down for him. That's insane. But he gets the walk off. They're going to get the game winning run. And here we go to game two against the Texas Longhorns. Um, which is happens to be my favorite college team of all time in all sports college when it comes down to sports college hands down the, the best the best sports entertainment there is before they sell out for money gotta do what you gotta do I guess but anyway college or is where it's at and to me there's no other place in my heart than the university of texas longhorns so uh it's pretty cool that we get to play this player uh it looks like the game here kind of skips on us so just bear with us for a little bit um this is a gameplay actual gameplay so uh, i don't know what happened here um like i said just bear with us my apologies so crucial error by our right fielder to start off the top half of the first and that causes a double instead of an out we're looking at a double right off the back and Mookie Betts is up in the two hole so early early trouble already to start off the second game of this event series uh if we lose this game we are out of the event and we have to 
You have to re-enter. If you don't go to third there, I think that's a big mistake on our end. We should have just gone to third. We do not, I mean, that leaves no one on in scoring position. And we can set up that double play out of the inning, but instead we go to first, we take the easy out, which is not a bad idea, you know, go for the easy out. But I think in that case, we easily get third. Uh, maybe I didn't know he was going for third and it was too late. I already hit circle, but I think that's a big mistake right there on our part to start off the first. We could have bailed out our pitcher instead. He is down behind in the count 3-0 against the kid. And, well, you see what happens when you make mistakes. When you make easy mistakes, you're going to get punished for it. <clears throat> that's a solid fucking home run. We miss our pitch. We're, de we're behind on the count. We're forced to throw that strike. And we paid for it. Dude, Different ball game. We get that out at third. We have no one in scoring position. Sets up the double play. And it just... Well, we're down now 2-0. We got one out here. Uh, and again, falling behind in the count. And to Gary Sheffield, we're down 3-0. Forces us to throw another pitch down the middle, and he's going to capitalize with the single up the gut. And uh, struggling early on. We're struggling early on. There's not much. Gary Sheffield as he lifts it in the air to right field. Meadows is there, two down. Man, it really started with missing that fly ball, and then it just kind of. So it's a runner at first with two gone. Down down that's a that's a decent second out for us. Um, and we'll get this third out here, but I mean, nonetheless, I mean, just a few mistakes and uh, it leads to a 2-0 lead. So it could easily be 0-0 right here, and it's not. But let's see if uh, the home half can make a difference here. We got Andrew McCutcheon batting in our leadoff spot here for game two of this event series and he is going to get hit by a pitch that's going to put one man on so all right there's there's hope come on ken he's in our two spot here batting in our two spot let's see what the kid can do always oh, dangerous by far favorite favorite player growing up by far i had his baseball glove all throughout little league uh, the older kids would make fun of me because the way I would say his name, I have trouble saying my R's and W's. But the kid is gonna come in big for us with the with the nice single up the gut, and we have two men on just like that. So there is hope, there is life for us outlaws. We're not facing the death penalty yet. I like it. That even set up one and one. Here. None out runners at first and second. Here we go. Austin Meadows in the third spot. And uh, he's going to fall behind one and two with two men on. Bottom of the first. Uh, we are trailing the Texas Longhorns 2-0. And we're going to get that K there. So that's the first out of the bottom, the home half of the first. So us, we are also Texas on your scoreboard. But we are the white we're, we're the white team um, with, the, with the Bandito logo in the center of our uniforms. And um, all right, again, bad base running. Here's another crucial mistake. This is a big turning point in this game. I mean, this we should have advanced our one runners. That means we have two people in scoring position and we're only down behind one with one out. This this is huge. This is huge. That was a huge mistake that we did not advance our base runners there. Yeah, Natty B, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on can, staff. We can advance him there. We can do that there. That doesn't work. And he's not afraid to get his deep. If he gets behind him, absolutely hundred percent, but not not in this case. See? We tie it up here. Because at least this is a sacrifice. So we at least get one run in. So we make it two one. We make it even two two with a runner at third. Not runners on the corner. 
So this is bad game playing. This is just bad. We just got outplayed here in this case. Like we made crucial mistakes on our end. Ooh, nice pitch. So even in count one, one, two outs, runners on the corner. We are trailing two to one. And we're gonna get a we are gonna tie it up here and make it two two. But again, what did I say? This would have been three three. It would have been three two. It would have been three two at this point. It would have been three two. But nonetheless, uh, it is two two. We have two runners on. <laughs> does not get that. Uh, he does not get that ball there. But we are down 0 and 2 with two outs. Bottom of the first. Game is tied 2 2. That is high to make it a 1 2 count. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Now a swing and a weak little line. Oh, oh, bad, bad plate discipline there. You should not be swinging at that. Another crucial mistake there. So All right, top of the second. Texas versus Texas. We got the Texas Longhorn versus the Texas Outlaws, which is me, the Midland Outlaws, because they don't have El Paso, so I have to, I have to use Midland. And um, we got a, us a tied ball game. We're in the top half of the second, and with a 1-0 count, he is going to ground out to the shortstop. And that's the first out of the inning. Mitch Garver with a batting at a 286. In the eighth spot for the Texas Longhorns, he is going to take a swing at that knuckle curve and put him down in the count 0-1. Oh, and it looks like we go back to that knuckle curve again. We're going to miss it, and he does not capitalize on it. We get extremely lucky there. And that's going to be out number two. So he's going to go ahead and bring in a pinch hitter for his pitcher. <clears throat> We're looking at Scooter Jeanette with... Uh, batting at a zero, so his first at bat, <laughs> his first at bat of the season, and he takes us deep, takes us deep, breaks a couple of lights off our beautiful scoreboard, and we are, the Outlaws are looking at a 3-2 deficit right now, we are down by one in the final, almost the final frame of the game, so, uh, Let's see what we can do here with the two out. Uh, see, let's see how we respond with the two out home run. Go ahead, home run. So, ouch, that hurts. Gosh, it sounds so good when you hit a fucking home run. I mean, it really just. All right, <clears throat> we're obviously going to the bullpen here. Oh wait, they went into the bullpen. They're bringing in their closer. Further set up, and um, <laughs> the outlaws are looking to their final six outs. Six outs. We can do this. We can tie it up. We can tie it up, and we're looking good right now with the 2 0 start. 3 0. Make that a 3 0 start. Please tell me we do not swing here. Please tell me we don't swing here. Nope, we sure as hell don't. So we draw that walk. Another good at bat for us. And we got one man on. We got the time run on first. And we're up to a 1 0 count with Justin Upton. So we go to our pinch hitter who happens to make it a 2 0 count. This is his first at bat. Possibly for the season, batting at a 0 0 0. And he's going to go ahead and miss at that high heat to make it a 2 1 count. One with one runner on. He is going to go ahead and make that even in the count 2 2. Rallying by one. Get a piece of it to stay alive. Still a 2 2 count. 
Okay. Still a five pitch at bat. Make that a six pitch at bat. Seven pitch at bat. And uh, it's a full count. We make it a full count. Three and two. So very good at bat. I'm very happy with that. And we do get it between third and shortstop. So a nice single there. We advance runner to second. We do not pinch hit for that runner at second. Is that going to be a crucial mistake later on down the road? We're about to play. Put the pressure on. It's a good chance for us to take the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He swings and rounds it to short. Got to give credit where credit is due. Very nice double play. I love to see that defense. So anytime anyone does a nice double play, triple play, nice defensive play against me, I will give you credit. Very nice defensive play there. Good double play. Huge double play. Huge, huge double play. You don't make that double play, who knows? Who knows what the outcome comes? So the kid up here, the bottom half of the second, but he is going to ground out to second with the runner. Third, so we leave two on there. Actually, maybe even three, because we walked someone, so uh, that did not count as a hit. So we got walked, so we leave three on in that case. Well, because of the double play, so here we are, top half of the third. And uh, the Longhorn's going to ground, go ahead and ground it out to a shortstop. We're going to make that play there at first. Uh, one out here on top of the third, the final inning of the game. Uh, the Outlaws got to limit the damage here uh, to make it a one-run game. That, I mean, that's a good chance for a comeback for us. That helps us out a lot, so we got to limit the damage here. And the kid at, with one and one, he's going to go ahead to fly out to center field. Two outs here, top half of the third in this event gameplay. Labor Torres, one for one here in this game. We need an easy out, and it looks like he is going to ground out to the shortstop. Two first base, and uh, that's a one, two, three inning. Come on, offense. Let's, let's uh, put on those rally. All right. It's our time for that walk-off. I called it in. at the beginning Austin of the game. All right. The Outlaws here down are their final three outs of this event gameplay. We need those rally caps to come in handy for us. And uh, we have Austin Meadows up in the count. 1-0. He is 0-1 for 1 of here in this gameplay. And uh, he's going to get ahead in the count again, 2-0. So the Longhorns go to the bullpen. We're looking at Seth Lugo, four-seam curveball, two-seamer, something, something. So uh, let's see if we can put some runs here against their bullpen. Or do their bullpen come in big? Two-seamer at 94. Um, hits the inside. For a strike, make it a 2 1 count. And we're going to go ahead and fly out to the third baseman. So the Longhorns, I mean the Longhorns, the Outlaws are down to their final two outs here. We have Max Muncy. He is batting one for one here in this game. Can he do something big here? Come on, we need you to do something big. Said he is going to fall behind in the count. Oh, and one. One out. Home half of the third. The Outlaws trailing the Longhorns by one in their final inning. Looking at their final two outs. That's going to bring us even in the count. One and one. We need a big at bat here. Two and one. Not a bad AB. Not a bad AB. Bottom line is when he does put the ball in play, he changes the scoreboard. Two and two the count. We're gonna foul that off to make it two and two. So Seth Lugo gets even in the count. He is on six pitches right now. 
him up. Nope. And we're going to go ahead and foul that off, and that's going to be an easy out for the catcher. The Longhorns looking pretty good right now. The two outs here on the home half of the third, looking at their final out. It is up to Josh Donaldson to be the hero to tie it. Just need you to tie it, bud. That's it. And he's going to fall down behind in the count. 0-1. Ooh, I'm looking, I'm looking a little, I'm looking a little defeated. I'm looking a little defeated there. And rightly so, down 0 and 2. Looking at our final strike here in this elimination game. We go for the high heat KO. We are out of the tournament for the live, live event. And, uh, well, that's where our first buy in went, y'all. I appreciate y'all hanging in there, Darren, your loser, <laughs> watching me lose back-to-back -back games here. But this was our first two games of the show when the, ga when the game first came out. Give us a little credit here, but we do go down 0-2 in the event game. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, if you want more uh, event gameplay, battle royale, and rank season, make sure to follow me on Twitch, Outlaw0311 Gamer. That's where I broadcast all my live gameplay footage of rank seasons, battle royale, and uh, events. So follow me there on Twitch, and uh, you know keep it live here on YouTube for March to October Conquest and other game modes that are I do off uh, off camera. So again, thank you so much for hanging out with Outlaw O311 oh, Gamer. Uh, again, you know, subscribe to the channel um, if you want to get notified when I do release a video. Hit the bell notification, and uh, one love, God bless y'all.